What's up, Midnight Readers? It's the Chronicler bringing you guys a brand new video again about Goosebumps. I know, but this one's kind of a spur of the moment. I wanted to share with you guys my favorite Goosebump book that I've read and my rarest Goosebump book that I have. Just kind of two quick things that I thought would be interesting. You guys might like to know since I'm a little bit of a Goosebump collector, as you can uh, obviously tell. And you guys are here, hopefully, because you're interested in the series or you're nostalgic for the series like I am. And you just want to kind of get a, another Goosebump fan, a fellow Goosebump fan's perspective on his favorite and his rarest. Um, now, I'll just say off the bat, guys, if you know or don't know, uh, the original Goosebump series here, the original 62, great set of books. Um, obviously, The Haunted Mask. There's plenty of classics with this. I'm sure there's one or two in here that you guys are pretty aware of. Um, Werewolf Skin being one that is actually a little bit harder to find uh, if you're into collecting the Goosebump books. This one I kind of lucked into. Actually, I believe it still has the... Yeah, it's got the mask cut out here that uh, some kid did not feel like uh, cutting out, which... How good of a mask would that really have made anyways? But I'm lucky to have it. Definitely a really good book. This is not, I don't believe, my rarest, but it definitely is up there. Um, now, just to kind of go over real quick, guys, the difference between these two stacks here. I began reading the very first time I ever read a novel was actually for Series 2000. And... This series in particular, uh, I found even reading as an adult was much more kind of edgier, sort of hardcore. There's a couple more drops of blood, if you like, in this series. Um, I believe the catchphrase was this, or the catchphrase for this one was, uh, yeah, welcome to the new millennium of fear. Uh, 2,000 times scarier. I wouldn't say it's 2,000 times scarier, but definitely the books are... Uh, more hard edge than the original series. Still love both series. Very, very good. But without going through every single book in the stack, I'll just kind of share with you guys real quick. Uh, my probably favorite and the first Goosebump book that I ever read that subsequently and coincidentally ended up being one of the more rare Goosebump books is actually in my series 2000 here. My rarest book is in series 2000. And my favorite book is in, in is in the original 62. So we'll go ahead and show you the rarest one. And if you have a keen eye, maybe you're able to kind of pick out what it was already. But I put it at the very bottom of the stack here. And that book is Slappy's Nightmare. This is the very, very first book that I ever read, front to back, novel. I was probably, oh, geez maybe six or seven at the time I read this. This book is very, very near and dear to my heart. Um, still have it to this day. This is the book I read. This wasn't a repurchase off of eBay or anything like that. This is the book. Um, and as you can tell, uh, quite, quite beat up wear and tear from, I'm sure, many vacations and uh, many camping trips, things like that. But uh, yeah, guys, this book is actually... I recall it being very good. Um, it's it's interesting, you know, being the very first book that I read, you'd think that I would forget many of the details from it, but I actually recall a lot about this book, which I guess is a little bit of a compliment to myself since I was able to kind of see the book and the story so well in my head, even as a younger kid. But um, yeah, guys, uh, I'm not quite sure why this one is so uh, sought after, to be honest with you. Um, the story is fine. Definitely not my favorite Goosebump book. But uh, if you go on eBay, I've seen this book go anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40 or more dollars. Um, and that's probably on a good day, to be honest. Um, I think it's a fine book. I think it's sort of sort of strange. Maybe it, there's been so many slappy books over the years that uh, the, the, the well just kind of run dry as far as how many stories R.L. Stein can write about him. And this one, I think, is maybe sought after because it's a very unique story. Um, I won't go into the details or spoil it if you haven't read the book, but it's a it's a good good goosebump book, solid book. I do like it. 
Uh, the ending is definitely something. Um, I won't spoil it, but uh, it's it's uh, pretty appropriate. But yeah, guys, that is my rarest Goosebump book, like I said. Uh, as far as rare between these two, it's probably close. Some might even say Werewolf Skin could be a little bit more rare. But for me anyways, I enjoy Slappy's Nightmare and Series 2000 in general. Now, my favorite Goosebump book. And funny enough, I just read this book last summer as a nostalgic Goosebumps reread. And I was completely, completely surprised by this book. I love it so much. And that book is, maybe to no surprise to many of you, Welcome to Camp Nightmare. This book, guys, I need to do a proper review of it on the channel. Uh, I reviewed a few books on the channel, if you guys want to check it out. One of them being Jekyll and Heidi over there in the corner. Very, very good book. But this book, man, guys, this is a great book. And now, the only thing I would complain about, perhaps, is the ending to the book. The ending is very controversial around Goosebump Circles, around Reddit. I'm sure uh, several online chat rooms back in 1998, 1999 when this book came out were filled with opinions on the ending of this book. But I think front to back, this book is a nonstop thrill ride. I think, I well personally, I think it's R.L. Stein's best work. I love Goosebump books that take place uh, on camping trips or field trips, and in this case, it's a little bit of like a, a summer camp trip, obviously, with uh, the title there, but it just goes and goes and doesn't stop, and the mystery to it is actually very, very intriguing, in my opinion, and man, this book just has um, strange occurrence after strange occurrence, it keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole time, and I just really loved it. Really great summer read, too. Like, just be on the back porch of your, of your deck or be at your house or go outside to read this book, guys. It's a great, great summertime read. And I just, man, I just love this book. So good. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to make a real quick video just to kind of show you guys. You now, I've done a couple of different Goosebumps-related videos now, but I really, really love this series. Very nostalgic for it, near and dear to my heart, probably like many of you guys. And I can't wait to do many, many more videos on this. If you guys could, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite ones are. Um, maybe what a rare one that you have is. Or if there's a book in your collection that you're quite fond of, um, I'd love to know. And uh, please like and subscribe, guys. I will do many, many more of these Goosebump-related videos and just book-related videos in general. Uh, it's a booktube channel. Everyone's welcome. And I uh, hope you guys liked it. Thanks.